Hello, everybody. It's Monday. Yay. Yay. It's Make It Monday. I'm Amy from Amy Sews, Amy Bachman Sewing Quilts, Mr. Um, Jim Suzio from Amy Sews, and also on the original Sewing Quilt Expo. Yep. Jim's is back from Novi, so yeah, he's done fun. traveling. Yay. I, I, I'm all to myself now. <laughs> I don't have to share. <laughs> I don't have to share. All right, people are just now popping on. So today is going to be kind of fun, right? Yes. In fact, I'm enjoying myself. This is yeah. one of those projects I was like, ah, oh, I can do. And um, those of you who are coming to the Easy Gifts to Make, I'm here at the store um, Wednesday night. This is going to be one of our projects. You're going to yeah. get the, the printable sheet so you can um, do the free motion work. And um, we will be doing it virtual. I think we're going to pick a date. Yeah, we should. Yeah. We're going to do it virtual for all of you guys out there who've been driving me crazy about doing the easy gifts virtual because we have people all over the world now that yeah. follow us. So Thanks, which is Nancy. great. I know. <laughs> Hi, Miss Fran. Hi, Fran. Fran, you work and you still retired. <laughs> she, she retired yet. <laughs> She's on a break. She's on her lunch break. That's why we do it at noon. So she can kind of um, cheat and see what's happening. Yes, we do it for all for Fran. Yes. All right. Okay. So what we're doing today, we are using a ball of this fuzzy chenille yarn i guess is what i'm going to call it um your local craft star so store any... yarn store i've seen them everywhere so, so it's like the bulky kind of yarn it's very bulky but it's also very thin to sew through there's like a, a like a string like a piece of thread for oh, a core. Some kind of core yeah, yeah but it's very very thin so we're going to be doing free motion couched snowflakes Speaking okay nancy, there, she there she is there's nancy <laughs> hi honey um we're gonna be doing it virtual nancy i'm gonna post the dope date here in a couple of couple nancy. days so um i'm i'm working today on the brina 590 which is sewing and embroidery and uh, we're going to be doing free motion yarn couching now that being said this is very forgivable and you can stink Ooh. at free motion quilting oh. this is not in free motion quilting. this is just fun right so and snowflakes are not perfect that's so, true. And no two are alike. No two are alike. So we're all good. Hi, Etta. I feel like Etta's from beautiful Hawaii. Hi, Julie. Oh, well, pop, a bunch popped up. I know. Patricia, everybody's everybody's popping on now. So, so this is what the chenille snowflakes look like. And I have a, we kind of a, the last minute, you, these little are green threads you're seeing, but um, that's what the back looks like. Just kind of a hodgepodge. Well, you did that too. So it would show up on camera. I, Thanks, Jim. Yes, exactly. What I, did. I was too lazy to change the thread while I was doing my test run. Okay. So here's kind of what we did. We did a little bit of a different, well, let's talk about feet first. So this is the Bernina free motion couching foot. And you can see it has this little cupped disc with a hole in the middle. This is the number 43 foot for your nine millimeter machines. And then every machine is going to look a little different, right? So this is embroidery couching for the Janome, which means using the embroidery foot talked to Zach earlier, you know, because he does a lot of repairs and stuff. It, I don't, the machine doesn't know if you're embroidering or free motion couching. So if you have a free motion couching foot that says for embroidery, try it for this instead of, you know, buying an extra foot, right? So all you need basically is a foot that has a hole in it to receive the yarn and like something to keep it kind of, kind of stable. So I just threaded my yarn through here. And one of my tips is these are dental floss threaders. This really helps those big chunky yarns go through that itty bitty hole. So you really have to put test your yarn, put it through the hole first and make sure it glides, glides through okay. And um, so do you wanna talk about what we did, Jim, while I put the foot on, let me sure. switch over. Um, what we have is a wash away stabilizer that kind of looks like interfacing. And it's applied to a piece of paper, so which makes it actually peel and stick. So if I would fold back the paper a little bit, I can actually peel it apart. And they come like eight and a half by 11, which fits perfectly in your home printer. So you can go online, pick out like, eight, we did like a random different types of snowflakes, and you can print them out on your paper on the interfacing side of it. Like I said, it's really the stabilizer, but if you don't, Border a lot, it looks like interfacing, right? And it depends on your printer, too, which way you put it. Put it paper like mine had to go in paper side down, down. because it feeds yes. in, yes, exactly. So you have to be able to think about that. So you want to the side that you're going to print on, which is you want to print on the stabilizer side or the fabric looking side, and you don't want to print on the paper side. 
And if you have a little trouble with it, like I'm having right now, what you could do is take a little straight pin and you can pick it. Or if you have a scan and cut, and I remember the scan and cut uh, box, right. just take your weeding tool and you can pull it apart that way. Right. And you just roughly cut it out and you can peel it off and stick it onto wherever you want to make your snowflake. Right. So the big test was, is it going to wash out? Right, because this is inkjet ink, right? I have nothing special about my printer. As long as you keep heat away from it, you're yeah. gonna be you're gonna be fine. So this was washed out, so the ink did not transfer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is a white sweatshirt, so we you know, I mean a little resis residual, but we use some of that awesome cleaner. I think if you rinse it or wash it with a little bit of Dawn, yeah, it's just gonna go away and it's not gonna you know stick to anything. Or if you're worried um, about it, maybe a little more like of a line art, a small line. Yeah, it looks like they're happy about having classes online. Oh, good. Yeah. So um, what, what it's going to be, it's going to be um, $20, just like we choose here in the store, but it's going to be a monster download, right? Because I can't stick a yeah. USB through the computer. There's, there's embroidery files. There's quilting files. There's sewing files. There's some ideas. There's, there's novels. I promise them I'll do paperback. Jim's, Jim has to do a one-page description. And so um, I'll, I'll post that date here soon, um, but it'll be, I think we're going to do it like, probably like seven o'clock Eastern. So okay. it's later for my West coasters okay. and then um, we'll go from there. All right. So let's go back to sewing. So we randomly picked out, this is just a sweatshirt, randomly cut out some of those snowflakes. Now realizing you are not going to get this much detail because this is thick yarn. So pick your yarn according to what you want. But do you remember those bedspreads when we were kids and you took oh, a nap up, on yeah. them and you woke up and you had little knots in your face? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have it threaded, right? I have it threaded through. I, I just put the foot on, right? So it's threaded through. I'm going to leave myself a nice long tail. I have my snowflake. And you're just going to take your yarn and just make it as untangled as possible. So it flows really easy. So I just put a pile next to my project. Yes, there's guides for it. And yes, there's a way you can set this all up. I don't have that kind of energy in me right now. So we're just going to do it. Um, Sometimes the setup to me takes more out of me mentally than it does just doing something. So I'd rather just do something. So this is set up. My feed dogs are down. Okay. And so all I'm going to do, I just have a straight stitch because this 43 foot is straight stitch only. And all I'm doing is following the lines. And it's okay to backtrack a little bit. And you can reduce your presser foot pressure so it flows nice and easy. And I'm just going to pull my yarn up here, kind of do both hands. And then it depends on how proficient you are, right? Like to me, this is incredibly relaxing. And if you get it like a, if it gets bound up because you get too much in there, then you're just going to just kind of push it along a little bit. So you could, I sewed through my hole is what I did. And the reason that happened, which didn't happen any other time I was working is because this yarn really is too thick, right? So you can see in the finished one here, but the best part about this chenille yarn, when you get a knot like that, I'm just going to use my scissors because it's so forgiving, right? Because it is. <laughs> this is bad. Nope, I really sewed a knot through it. Where's my scissors, James? Well, there's nothing like showing you what's going to go wrong because it's going to go. Well, that's our other motto. We screw up. We screw up so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to, right? So I'm just going to give it a tug. There we go. And I'm just going to undo it. And then you can easily patch it up. And I can put it right back through again and keep on sewing maybe well i just took it out of the hole so anyhow but you get the idea so all i'm going to do is going to put it back through my foot start where i left off and just keep going but the what happened is i stayed too long in the same spot so you want to keep and, it moving and my yarn got all wound up so yes you are going to just keep yourself um or if you have to take a pause don't sew exactly so just stop sewing but you can see when this rinses out this is tone on tone this is going to be absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so what did i do with my little yarn thing oh. all right jim what else do you want to talk about i today? was just thinking like if you 
um, maybe even use like a metallic thread in your needle just to get a little sparkle with it? I think you're nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because you can see, you know, I just had an O happen. So yeah. the metallic thread may add one more even element more. and you don't even see the thread because when you look at this, so I just put my little loop through there. It's going to give it a little tug to get it going down through the hole. I think part of the problem is my needle keeps getting in the way. There we go. Come on. This is so much better when nobody is watching me. I know this is awful. What is happening with me today? This is so brutal. The yarn, I will tell you, is too thick just because it keeps getting stuck in my needle. But I'm determined, and this is what I want to do today. This is what I'm going to do today. And she's going to get it done. Mindset is everything. I just have to pull on the right one now. Well, maybe not, Jim. That's what happens when you try to do do everything live and in person. There we go. Let's get this undone. Come on. At least I'm showing you what's going on here, right? Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes we all have a rough moment. And sometimes it might, is it easier to you think to put the yarn on and then put the foot on? Absolutely. And that's the way you should do it is put the yarn on. So now you showed us what not to do. Thank you. Now I showed you what not to do. And why. And why. And um, you're going to thread it from the top to the bottom, right? Just make a little loop. If you don't have a floss threader, you probably could use just regular thread. So do we have any questions while I'm in here just making a hot mess? <laughs> I think. I'll call, I'll call. Okay, so here, let's be very, I have been awfully sick the last couple of weeks and I've had this virus that affects my equilibrium. I have to tell you, I still am kind of touching like bubbles. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, all right. So do we have a, do we have a question? Well, well Carol suggested, since I mentioned sparkle, about gluing some rhinestones in the middle and around the ends of the snowflakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe even like um, sequins, maybe. We can do that. And I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a rhinestone workshop. Oh, with um that was a good segue yes so i'm all excited about that and it's going to be just like a ten dollar workshop doing rhinestones doing the templates doing whatever so and connie well you're finished connie asked oh you're back to that okay well, that's okay you can keep you can keep going well, so. no, Con uh, well connie earlier had a question she wanted to know if the snake plant was real oh it's real but it's not alive it's not alive <laughs> it's uh it's fabric it was made for real right so that's yeah. uh yeah, so now you can just, just don't stop where your yarn gets a knot, right? It's a constant moving. So is it better if like, you do have to pause to shift whatever to stop to with stop. the needle in? I, I don't know that it matters just because I have so much bulk here. But, um, you know, this, this little Bernina ha has that really big bobbin in it. So that's the other thing I really like about this new series that Bernina has come out with is the fact that that much larger bobbin is... Um, so you can do quite a few snowflakes with one bobbin. Right. And you can see it's really, once you don't stop, and that probably was a good lesson, although it was painful for me. Um, and if you miss your little mark, you miss your little mark. They're snowflakes. They aren't, you know, dog faces. And I'm just going to trim this tail because I'm going to stitch over it. And I'm just going to kind of do swirl around the middle, catch that last tail. And then I'm just going to kind of do a little back and forth and then um, cut everything. Right. And then when you're done, you can leave yourself a tail and pop it to the back. Or you can just tie a knot and cut it. Right. This is just a one shot. You know, I don't think, know that you're going to wear this sweatshirt a thousand times over the holiday season, but you can see how cool that turned out. And once this charcoal color washes away, all you're going to see is um, snowflakes. So nice tone on tone effect. Tone on tone. So the rule is don't, if you stop, stop. Don't stay in one place and let the machine keep okay. working because, and you probably could find a lighter weight yarn. I have a tendency to torture myself with. 
we do that. We do that because what happens is I say yarn, Susie goes to Michael's and Susie buys yarn and Joan oh, yeah. goes to y Michael's and she buys baby yarn and they behave totally, totally different. Yeah. So anyway, hello, Beverly from Tennessee. What else we got going on? Uh, if you want to sit up close, there's our snake plant. That's Made a snake plant. What did you just did? did you did? We did that last year on the skin on make it on the scan. On make it Monday. Right. So um, if you go back on previous ones on YouTube or are there, you have to go to YouTube, Facebook only keeps them for 30 days. Okay, So go back on YouTube and we do have a snake plant. Right. So yes. Um, so the make it Mondays. Yeah what's happening yeah. so i will be posting I shortly do. with um the date for the virtual mm -hmm. and um i'm excited about that it's gonna if you come to the store of course you're still gonna get the link to the virtual because yeah so it's like a, a bonus for coming it's a bonus hey, D. so you get to see it twice yes i'm finally back I, at least i drove today <laughs> which says a lot <laughs> You could use yarn with sparkles. That would be cool. Yeah. Absolutely. And there was ton now's the time because I think all the Christmas yarn at um Joanne's was half price. Or I was at Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, I was at Hobby Lobby and it was half price. And so yeah, sparkly yarn would be great. I happen to be a tone on tone person, mm -hmm. but that's just that's classic. That's just me. And if you have any goofs, you're not gonna see it if you're doing red on a white sweatshirt. So um do a couple practice rounds first and then take it and um rinse it out and that's what the front this is just on cotton by the way and then that's the back it's wet because i just had to figure out this technique work because oh what else you can use this for right have you seen the trend where everybody's kind of embroidering the collar where it says mama or something like that it's all hand stitched like they do have it's like happy holidays like slow stitching is coming back which is the hand work you know doing the chain stitch this is how you can transfer those designs that you want to hand work mm. as well. Like if you want to do a cross stitch or if you want a free motion embroidery, uh, broader something, you know, you definitely can um, do it that way too. But I've, uh, everybody's doing the hand stitching, the names on the sleeves, like up here, it says, I wear my heart on my sleeves. Yeah. And then they put every, all their, you know, their babies and grandbabies on their sleeves. So um, it's a cute idea. So again, I'm on the Bernina 590 uh, sewing and embroidery. It is Bernina foot number 43. Yarn couching feet are available for every brand under the sun. Um, these are what the Janome feet look like. They're kind of small. Now, this is for embroidery couching, which means the embroidery and it's on. It's a hooped thing. I think for this project, you could get away with using these feet, right? And not have to buy another foot, but you're going to have to test it because every machine is just a tad different. And then, you know, if you don't want a free motion, you can still. Um, Maybe an open toe foot. Open toe foot. You could just couch it on a, you know, just with the feed dogs up. If yeah. you don't, if you don't want to go dogs down, right. That's going to yeah. scare some people. So, but this is a great project to practice that with. Okay. So I'll see some of you on the 20th for in-house easy gifts to make a celebration of giving my favorite night of the year. And we're firing up the popcorn machine mm -hmm. and we're getting hot chocolate and coffee and I'm going to have a good time. And then um, I'll get you guys the virtual date um, when I look at everybody's calendar. Like early so Christmas present. Early Christmas present. Exactly. And it's only 20 bucks. So, but this yarn couching is going to be one of the projects. Mm -hmm. And we but, got a lot. Right. But when you um, come or pay for the class, then you get the print out that you can print right on your stabilizer. That stabilizer came in a big sheet. It was 18 by 20. Mm -hmm. I cut it to eight and a half by 11, just like a regular piece of computer paper, they even call it tablet paper anymore, <laughs> computer paper, and uh, put it in there and I printed it. So, all right, everybody, let's see. Um, and Patricia's question was, it, there's also the, the um, same foot for the brother. Yeah, so the brother foot, the... Um, Embroidery foot for embroidery couching probably would work, Pat. Just put it on and go, yeah. right? Just going to drop your feet, teeth, adjust your presser foot pressure if you have to. Um, with your luminaire, I think you got the yarn couching attachment for the move it foot. So if you just wanted to sew and zigzag over the yarn, you could do that too um, with that foot. But yes, I would just put it on and try it. You're going to know right away if it works or doesn't work. So but I don't want you to go by two feet when one foot works. So I just want you to try it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's only 
20 minutes for making money. Hey, last week was five. <laughs> I know. So um, if you come to the store, all the Black Friday deals are out for sewing machines. And um, two of the companies that I sell for have announced January 1st, three to 5% increase across the board on everything. Wow. Accessories, machines. Um, I'm not happy about it. Nothing I can do about it. So if you're thinking about a new top of the line, saving 5% is... Uh, a big it deal. Up, yeah. it, it adds up. So, okay, everybody, have a terrific day because the more you know, the more you sell. Bye, everybody. Bye.